We want to encourage you today that whether you are still making up your mind about what you believe about Jesus or simply not sure about the path he has placed you on, it may not make sense from our natural vision. It may not feel the way you want it to feel. And it may seem weird. That's because it is. The whole thing is impossible to understand from the scope of our human minds. An omnipotent deity came to earth as a mortal man just so we could murder him, which in turn would save us so we can live with him forever. It doesn't sound normal. (laughs) The act of accepting him almost seems too easy to wash away all of our horrible sins. The act of baptism, which you saw, that's kind of what Naaman was experiencing as he dipped in the River Jordan, almost seems too basic and simple to confirm our birth into this new life. But this is exactly what God told Naaman to do. Accept his word with obedience, go dip in the water, and receive his healing. It didn't have to make sense, and it didn't have to feel good. It simply had to be done. So what feeling is standing in your way of God's promise? What has he told you to do, but it doesn't make sense, or it might be embarrassing, or maybe it seems too small to actually make a difference? And whatever it is, the only way we receive the healing and the blessing to embrace the next step in our walk with him is to do the thing that may not feel right. But if he told us to do it, he has his reasons. If you are waiting for an invitation to follow him, here it is. Join all of us who were formerly sin-damaged lepers who have been given new life through him. And if you have been following him for a while and he's just asked you to jump into some nasty river that doesn't feel right or seem to make sense right now, I can promise you that none of it will make sense. Not until you have followed through and obeyed.